All right, today I'm going to show you the electric choke and slide. First thing you want to do is pull off this little cap here. Then you'll find a screw down here. And you pull out your electric choke. Try not to lose the screws. And what you want to check for is that this plunger is still working in here. That needle limits the amount of air flowing into the carburetor when it first started. Right down in that hole. Put that back in. That's your electric choke. Show you your slide, your diaphragm, and your needle. The only reason you'd really need to go in here is if you're trying to raise your needle to get more fuel. That needle right there goes down into that hole you can see in there. And that hole is right on top of your main jet. So what people do is, this doesn't have an adjustable one. Usually this thing right here can be moved up and down to position how high this needle is in that hole down in there. That's really the only reason you really need to come in here. Unless this diaphragm right here, this part right here, was ripped, then it wouldn't even work right. It has air flowing through these holes here. It runs on vacuum, so. Put these screws back on. And that's the inside of the carb and the electric choke.